Hey guys, it's Banner. Welcome back to Strife. In the last part, we uh seemed to find a dude, the bishop, and he had a kind of spooky thing come out of him. And in this part, we we're gonna go see the oracle. We will do that eventually, but there's two things I want to do first off. Uh, first thing, I want to go way back to the town to buy some things. And I really hope there's... I knew it. I knew it. I want to definitely buy some, uh, uh, health kits. I think I'm okay on the ammo because, uh, we got plenty of, of rifle. The flamethrower is fine as well, but yeah. So we'll just head back to the town and I believe it's this guy who will sell us some stuff. So we'll go for medical kit, medical kit. Let's not click too fast. There we go, that should be alright. And, uh, this guy will sell us armor, but I believe no one's gonna sell us missiles, are they? How much money do we even have? 115, wow, that was a bit less than I was expecting. Uh, we got phosphor grenades, yeah, nah. I think I'm all set. Okay, the other thing was, uh, at the end of the last part, I accidentally, like, went into, uh, the factory. And, uh, I was like, huh, this isn't where I'm supposed to go. And I believe that's actually a side room entirely. That's completely optional. You don't have to go in there. But, and, and I say but because we're gonna go in there. There's a nice goodie. I love me some goodies. Yeah. <laughs> I just set off the alarm. What? Why was this not off already? Who knows? Uh, so I'm just gonna head over there. It's not gonna take us the whole part. I can assure you that because it's optional, and everyone knows that optional stuff barely takes the amount of time that the main stuff does. So I believe it's up here, and I'm just gonna keep quick saving because I I just checked this place out like a little bit and uh, a little bit. In, uh, outside production and uh yeah it's a bit weird particularly why are the enemies all back didn't we accidentally stumble upon all oh maybe the quick save under the so anyway if we go here we're in the stores and we can find a nice goodie here but i want to take this too long now you can you can actually check this place out like before you go see the bishop and it probably would help Conveniently, everyone is a dude, which means I can burn him. I don't know what that guy said. Did I just pick up all those health kits? I think I did. This guy's like this. He doesn't know anything. Nice! Okay. So, uh, yeah. So we'll just head around, look at these grey walls. They're all pretty grey. Oh, did you just activate this platform, you fool? There's an alarm over there, but I'm pretty sure... I've already... <laughs> I've already summoned a few alarms, you know what I mean? So I believe this place is, uh... The thing's in the middle here, we gotta figure out how to open it. But this place isn't too big, it's just kind of going around this diamond. I feel like there's a turret on the opposite side right there trying to shoot me, do you see that? You see that turret? Oh my gosh, dude, <laughs> like the long range turret. Keep going around in circles, we'll figure it out. Oh! Oh my gosh, turrets everywhere! <laughs> ah! There's so many! There's so many dang turrets. I don't even know where the heck I'm standing like right now. Quick, straight front it. Straight front it. Go quick. Go go fast. Dude, when you run at like doom speeds and you're still going like too slow. Now, what's there? There even is a switch. I think there's actually a platform just. Over here, and I completely. What even is happening right there? Does that mean I have to go? Oh my gosh! Or I can walk outside. I think this is a bit of a quicker route. 
Maybe. I gotta go all the way around, rolling around at the speed of sound. <laughs> Excuse- oh my gosh, I'm not even gonna try that other turret. Now, slowly, because there's a pit right away. Hey, golden fella, with a key. Sure. Bird, 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 bird. I'm gonna hit your sprite. Ow. I got the key, so now we just figure out where the key goes. Ooh, ammo. Nice. on the other side. Rockets! They knew I was coming! But I didn't know how to get rid of this thing. So I think we gotta go over to the different like sections of the area. So uh... Actually I don't think we should keep that raise. Alright, so let's go over to sector 3 here. And that's closed off, okay. Even in this direction. So this one has this like thing here. Okay. And it's closed off. I think that's the goodie in the middle there. The <laughs> very green door is very green. What's weird is that I don't think Doom actually had like lighting. Like colored lighting. So I think they had to make a completely different sprite for these doors. <laughs> Definitely there's something in there, because there's things attacking us. But all these staircases, they just go down into here. I want to get in there somehow. Oh. I mean, my kids are so good, but we're going to a deficit. So why does the door not work? down here. Excuse me, you just shot a man in, in very warm blood. It's boiling in here. Turn off the aircon. Turn on it. Oh my gosh, what? Pick up some small health kits. And some energy pack. Alright, so this guy's in here, yep. There's definitely guys in here. So what does this switch do? Does it Move the, the thing in the middle. Move. Nice. I went the wrong direction. Uh, you guys. Hold on. Health kits. <gasps> Must grab all health kits. You can't hold anymore. Okay, hold on. Uh, there we go. Easy. Oh, jeez. Don't look at your map. Dangerous. There's lots of grenades on this kid. Come on. There we go. So what's in the middle? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What's in the middle, you might ask? HG grenade rounds. There wasn't a lot of HG grenades. There's a lot of rockets, so I appreciate that. We've got our rockets back up. But if we head through here, this guy's all like, I wish sometimes all these rebels would just leave. That's an exit. Ah, it's in there. Ooh. Crap. Excuse me, good sir. Would you like to peek your head out? Thanks. There's a guy on the high ledge up here. Ow. He's my face. Oh my gosh, this guy is hiding around corners. Taking really lame pot shots at me. That's what I do. You can't do that. Anyway. Ooh, 10, 10 gold. But we got the mauler. Yeah, this is the killer weapon right here. It uses, I believe it uses the same ammo as the flamethrower. But, this is like your BFG. It will wreck everything. What's really nice is that there's a secondary mode for it. 
which uh, does something different. And we'll demonstrate this on our next enemies, which we'll get to once we leave somehow. We'll figure out how to leave through the door. So, completely optional area, but you get this mauler a bit soon. A bit soon, you know? Proper English is English. Anyway, let's uh, leave this place because we gotta say hi to the Oracle. I went a long way, guys. Yeah. Ah, not boring, Delans. Anything but that. I feel like I need to do a video explaining why I don't like Borderlands because no one has messaged me about this. But I feel like people are going like, dude, how do you not like Borderlands? And I, I like the second one. I don't absolutely like love it, but I like the second one. But I think the first one is just completely boring. Completely boring. So anyway, let's head to the Oracle. Or even better. Let's go in the teleporter that's right here that I completely ignored because the teleporter puts you here. I wonder where I've seen the spectre before. Huh. Now, there is something kind of big hap well, happening here. This guy goes, Your next challenge will test your spirit. The third piece is held by your own leader. He is the same as that which he sends you to kill. What? Your blind faith has allowed him to advance to his goals with each piece you gain. Confront him and resolve your fate. Uh... Now, this, uh, it is at this point... And I'm gonna make a new save for this one. It is at this point, and, uh, and also just another save, just in case. This is the point where the big thing ha where the big split happens. I, I mentioned that the I did an old let's play of this game. Or just like kind of failed attempt. And I wanted the player to the, the viewer to make all the decisions. Mainly because this happens, and there is a huge split in what happens next in the game, depending on what, what you take. One leads to an okay ending and one leads to the really good ending. The bad ending is a completely different thing, but we'll get to that. So anyway, so now we'll make the decision of who do we trust. All right, so your blind faith has allowed him to advance to his goals with each piece you gain. Confront him and resolve your fate. So I'll be showing off the okay ending first, mainly because it's a lot shorter to beat the game and like yeah, pretty much. Whatever choice you make, your kind shall perish under the will of the one god. Okay. The river of time moves forever onward. You stand still. So he now opens up the teleporter again. But that's kind of interesting. Maisel is the villain all along. And we maybe why the heck is the base? I've completely forgotten. Where's the new ba No, the new base is outside. It's the castle, that's where it is. Yeah. Okay. So, it is at this point that I am kind of splitting the timeline. So, it'll, it'll be a couple of parts on this timeline, and we'll finish the game there. And then we'll basically show the, the, the longer, best ending. Uh, also, we'll be showing the bad ending along the way. It's applicable to both uh, lines, and it's actually really easy to, to trigger. But uh, these guys are all like, remember, you aren't fine for yourself. Huh. And that's not even the right way to go. Maybe it's the bit with the logo. So anyway, so we'll go up to him and he's all just like... What prompts your return? Are you hurt? There's no time to lose. Continue with your mission. Complete the sigil. You must die. I have sworn myself to freedom. It is the Oracle who holds the third piece. There's your traitor. You're the traitor. Spirit of the one god, avenge me. And turn this world into dust! What? Oh god! So, oop. Saving. So, fortunately, everyone else, like, fights for you, but... Anyway, let's use this thing. How about... <laughs> how about we use the sigil? 
We got the fancy next sigil, so we go boom, and he goes, and wouldn't you know, there's a thing in here, so we can hit this thing. This, this is a lot easier to hit people with, by the way. Ow! He hits me with his own like lightning, and it's so cheap, especially to see how much damage that's doing. That's running through all my health kits. What? A, what? What lane? I seem to be killing everyone around me. I think it's a bit, a bit weird that the Spectre thing only has like the one forward sprite. I mean, it's, it's technically four sprites, but... Stop standing in the way! By the way, you have to kill the Spectres with the Sigil. Or I can kill myself as well. And go way back out here. Come on, <laughs> come on, we're not dying way too much on this guy. There he is! This thing doesn't die from anything else, right? Rockets. No, I go straight through him. Come on, Ah, oh, jeez. You see what you done, you got me hit. Oh my gosh, the lightning! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Dude, this freaking lightning is so freaking OP. Come on! You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna run outside. And let everyone on the inside die. Wow! Everyone is just gonna get killed by this guy. Baby? Hey, sir. Yeah, take the- oh my gosh! <laughs> Cause I gotta- I gotta do the strafing and take the hits. Oh my god. You guys are getting tired of seeing me constantly quick load because I just took a hit. One hit. But you- you see how much freaking- They even homed on me! What a cheapskate! You- you see how much freaking damage this is doing. And he just took that sigil hit like a champ. Just need this thing to get outside. Ah! There we go. Let's, let's fight him like men. So we'll keep hitting him, I guess. I guess. You keep aiming for the wrong things, game. Am I getting hit on the right by an actual guy? Is it because I'm standing in his line? Oh, gosh! Stop aiming down! Aim up! There we go, we did it! Richter has taken over command of our forces. It looks like Maisel has been deceiving us all along. His true allegiance was to the Order. What a snake. So wouldn't you know, he was a traitor. All along. So yeah. Anyway, the Oracle knows what's going on, so we'll just give him a holler, I guess. Uh, also, I have lost all my health, <laughs> and I am completely this this direction. <laughs> We've lost all our health. I think it's because he took so many freaking lightning hits. It's ridiculous. So dang ridiculous. So let's go say hi to him. Also, I don't want to say this game's got like tons of backtracking because really all you do is you just kind of run a little bit back and forth between some places here. It's not too bad, I think it's really just this part of the game. Anyway. We'll go up to this guy and he's all like... Also, how much money do I have? I'll just double check. 700 tail? Nice. Let's look up. You have come to cancer from your body, but your heart still beats. Next, you must find the surgeon who butchers and controls your people. The lore master. Stop him, and the next piece will be yours. Use the teleporter behind the door I just opened to reach the lore master. When he is dead, use the same device to return to me. He may be ugly, but it seems like he's on our side. Okay. So, yeah, so I guess that'll be it for uh, today's part of Strife. Rawr. In the next part, we'll head over and say hi to the lore master and maybe kill him. We'll see. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye bye!